Welcome to Minerva Insights. Meet the SJ-100, a bold evolution of Russia's Sukhoi Superjet 100. Re-engineered mostly with domestic components, it's built to sidestep Western sanctions and showcase Russia's airspace industry's independence. Since 2018, a shift has been underway, phasing in homegrown tech to replace foreign systems. The first upgraded jet took flight in 2023. Now it's going the distance, making its first long-haul nine-hour journey from Komsomolsk Namur to Moscow Shukovsky Airport, powered entirely by Russian-made PD-8 engines. Fuel consumption on our new Russian PD-8 remained almost the same as on the previous model. Engine designers are naturally conducting engine tests now and promise to slightly increase thrust and reduce fuel consumption. Probably the most pleasant surprise was that the new jet retained the highest level of stability, controllability, and comfort characteristics remained the same. An important fact is that our new engines are completely Russian, domestic, and they have proven themselves very well. During flight tests, they behave better than the previous ones. Aircraft controllability has practically not changed, which we are very proud of. Our Russian manufacturers managed to create systems and equipment from scratch that are competitive with the world's best manufacturers. As part of the project, over 60 imported systems, including engines, avionics, landing gear and control units, have been replaced with locally produced parts. After 2022, when Western partners left the market and cooperation ended, we had to speed up work on our systems, promptly implement these systems, and conduct a compressed test cycle. In fact, we replaced everything. The main task was, of course, the engine. Previously, we developed the engine jointly with France. At the moment, we have a completely new domestic PD-8 engine. Well, if we consider the entire aircraft, then, in general, all of its systems are now being entirely developed by us. Serial production is gearing up for early 2026, marking a steady climb for Russia's aviation ambitions, with the jet set to fly high in the Russian sky. Anastasia Valodina, RT, from Moscow region. Sanctions do nothing but make Russia less and less dependent on anyone. In the past, Russian skies were dominated by foreign aircraft, Boeing and Airbus, symbols of reliance on the West. Every sanction, every restriction was meant to ground Russia's ambitions. But instead, it sparked something else. Today, from Komsomolsk on Amur, the brand new SJ-100 has taken off, a 100-seat regional jet, powered not by imports, but by Russia's own PD-8 engines. The era of importing Boeings may soon be over. The SJ-100 is proof that sanctions only accelerate independence. Aviation history is being rewritten in real time, and this is just the beginning. If you want to stay ahead of these game-changing moments, hit subscribe, share your thoughts below, and keep watching, because the future is already in the air.